Hello friends, today I am going to teach you textile design in Adobe Illustrator. We are going to start with this simple tessellation design. Here we can see a single hexagon motif is repeated again and again. To draw a hexagon, I am using polygon tool. So there is total 6 sides in this hexagon. While using the polygon tool, use up and down arrow in your keyboard to increase or decrease the sides of the polygon. Now for 6 side polygon, press shift to have a flat base like this. Let's increase the stroke size. As you can see in the sample image that the same polygon is placed in between two polygon. This is called as half drop. Now to make the seamless pattern repeat, go to object, pattern, then make. Press OK. You can now see the preview of the repeated pattern. But this is a straight repeat pattern. To make it into half drop in pattern option window, Change the tile type grid to brick by row or brick by column. Perfect. Now adjust the width value by selecting it and using up and down arrow key to get the desired design. Perfect. Once you are satisfied with the overall placement of the design, press done at control bar. You will find a new swatch is added in the swatch window. To use this, draw a rectangle. Make sure that the fill is on the top and then click on the new swatch pattern. The seamless pattern is ready. To scale this pattern right click on this pattern and click transform scale. Unclick the transform object icon and make sure only transform pattern is on. Now select the uniform value here and use up and down arrow key to scale up or scale down the pattern. So now our hexagon seamless pattern is ready. Let's try it with another example. I will just copy this artwork from the internet and paste it in Illustrator. To convert this into vector format, go to control bar and click on image trace. Then click expand. Use magic wand tool and click on white background. To delete the white background, press delete in the keyboard. To extract a single motif from this artwork, I will use direct selection tool and click on one element. Once a particular motif is selected, cut it and paste it again. Our single motif is ready. To make the seamless pattern I will go again to Object Pattern Make. Change the tile type to get the right half drop repeat. Adjust the width or height of the repeat. Once you're satisfied with the spacing, press done on control bar. 
To use it, make a rectangle and click the new swatch created recently. Let's scale this and check the seamless pattern repeat. So this way your seamless pattern is ready. In next video, I will guide you how to work with colored motifs and background color. That's all for today. If you think this video is helpful for you, kindly like and subscribe this channel. Have a good day.